Yes. Can you hear me? Oh, hello. Oh, yes. Okay. I can hear you now. Okay. Anyways, how are you? I'm fine. Wow, that's good to know. Okay. And what did you do today? Oh, I just learned and eating today. Hmm, that's good. Uh, you mean to say you learned at school? Yeah. Okay, that's nice. All right, how about the weather? Was the weather fine today? The weather is fine today. Wow, that's good to hear. Okay, so anyways, uh, for today, we're, we will continue to study your book. So please wait. Okay. All right, so I guess I can share it with you. Can you see it? Oh, yeah. Okay, so last time we talked about, okay, so about writing the infinitive and the ing words for the sentences. So let's go to how the moon was kind to her mother, okay? So we're going to read that context later, but I'm going to ask you questions. Are you kind to the people in your family? Oh, yes. Yes, you are. Okay, now tell me, how kind are you? Oh, I am very kind. Like what? What do you do? I, you know, I'm not very kind. I'm mm -hmm. a little bit of kind. Okay. But I help my brother. Oh, like what kind of help do you do to your brother? Oh, many. Many things, okay. Yeah. So, yes, I guess you're close to your brother. <laughs> you're really that close, okay? That's nice, okay. So, you, are you also kind to your parents? Yes. Of course, you have to, okay. So now let's read and listen to the story. How was the moon kind to her mother? So we're going to answer that one later on. And then after two, we're going to read the first part of the story below and match the words with the correct pictures, okay? So let's read first the first paragraph. Okay, please okay. read. Once upon a time, a long time ago, the sun, the wind, and the moon were three sisters, and the mother was a pale. Lovely stars shone far away in the dark evening sky. Okay, so according to the uh, picture, okay, who is the mother? Oh, it's star. Okay, it's the star, okay. Next, who, who else? Uh, the sister. Who is the sister? Sun and the moon. Sun and... Sorry. Sun and moon. Okay. Another one is aunt. Yes. Uh, uncle. Yeah. Who is the aunt? The aunt is... Did it mention there? No, I cannot see any on. Okay, yeah. So maybe in the next next part. Okay, I think there are three sisters, right? Mentioned yeah. sun, moon, and the wind, right? Yeah. Okay, wind, also part of sister. Okay, so we have already known the mother and the sisters. Okay, what about uncle and aunt? Who are they? Okay. Let's read first. One day. One day, the uncle and aunt, thunder and lightning, invited the three sisters to have supper with them. And the mother said that they would go. She would wait for them, she said, and would not sleep until she could and told her about the present. Okay, so who's the uncle? Uh, is the tender. Okay, and aunt? My aunt is lightning. Yes. Okay, what are you afraid most? Lightning or thunder? Oh, is <laughs> lightning. Oh, we're not the same. I'm opposite. 
I'm afraid of thunder. <laughs> you know, the sound of it. I'm so scared of it. Okay. So, yes, we have introduced here the family members. So, we have uncle. So, uncle and aunt. Okay. So, let's read and continue. So, after that, Yes. So the sun in her dress of gold, the wind in her train, the rest with the rest of she had, and the moon was a wonderful rock of silver in the dinner party. Oh, it was a supper to remember. The, the table. table was spread of a color of rainbow. There were ice cream like the snow on the mountain top, and a cake as soft as white as clouds, and a fruit of very part of every part of the earth. A sister, three sisters, who is a lot of said, is simply a son and a witch who will wear TV and eat every, every cake. But the moon was quite a remember her mother. She hear the part of the supper of in her long white fingers to take so we share with her mother the song. Okay, so what oh no, no I guess then the three sisters Okay, then the three sisters said goodbye to thunder and lightning and went home. When they reached home they found the mother. The star was waiting and shining to them as she that that she What did you bring me from the supper? She asked. The sun covered her head with all its yellow air and answered, Why should I bring you anything? I will for my own pleasure and not so much. It was the same as the wind. She wrapped a full robe about her and turned away to the work. I too. I went out to have fun, she said, and, and when she let me of the mother, when she was not with me. Oh, okay, next, but? But it was very different when a moon was not as greedy and selfish as her two sisters, the sun and the wind. She turned her switch face towards the mother, the star, and held up the slender head. See, mother, cried the moon. I have bought of you a part of everything that was on my plate. I ate only half of the supper because I want to share with you. Oh, so? So the mother put the food dress to cut the daughter. The moon had brought her on her gold plate. She ate it and she took to her three children. So she had something in pocket to say with them. She spoke first to the son. Okay. You were? You are, you are come back and show face my daughter, she said. You talk only about yourself from this day you raised to be so hard to say we burn everything you touch. People will cover their head when you. Yeah. Oh no, and that is that, and that is why today the sun is hot and ready. Now, let the mother spoke to a week. Listen, my daughter, you have been unkind and greedy. She said, You will know in the heat of your sister, the sun, the one who will love you anymore. Mm. And that is why. And then why should the day the wind blowing in the hot weather is very unpleasant? Last the mother spoke to her daughter the moon. You remember your mother and were very kind. She said, Those who are talking with of the mother and all this will be blessed for our time of life will be too blessed. 
any call. We need to see. You will make the dark right, 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 and all people will love you. That is how the meaning of kites to the water. Okay, so we're done reading the uh, the story about how okay how the moon was kind to her mother. Okay, so let's go for the questions. Okay, so do you have any questions according to the story? No. No. I have any questions. Okay, so you mean to say you understand the story, right? Yes. Okay, so let's try to answer the questions um, to each of the story. So first, who invited the three sisters to supper? Uh, the thunder and the lightning. Oh, it was her, their aunt and uncle. Okay, what did the three sisters eat? Eat the cake. Ice cream mm -hmm. and fruits. And fruits, okay. And they have described each of them. So ice creams like the snow on the mountain tops, and cakes as soft and white as clouds, and fruits from every part of the earth. Okay. And where did the moon hide part of her supper? Where did the moon hide the part of her supper? Uh, yeah, and where where did the moon hide? Um, she hid a part of her supper in her, her long white finger. Yes, that's right. Okay, and next question. How were the sun and the wind unkind to their mother? How were they unkind? Because they don't know pressure with the mom. They don't? With the mom. Okay. They didn't um, brought anything to their mom. Okay. So it means to say they were greedy and selfish. Okay. Yes. yes. Okay. Next one. Uh, what happened because they were unkind? Um, the center is into a hot star, so and the water. The wind. So hot. Yes. The sun and everything is Yes. So when the sun, okay, the sun rays will be so hot, so people will will hide okay yes when the sun appear while the wind okay so you were saying that the wind will be blowing hot weather and it will be so strong okay and how was the moon blessed by her mother the moon says, yes. the moon blessed her mother. Her mother is she bring her. She just bring her. Mm -hmm. How was the moon she, blessed? She bring her. She will? She will bring her. She bring all the food. Yeah, I mean, how? How does her mother bless the moon? That uh, the, mother, the, moon, uh, the moon will? The moon will be a uh, bright and cool star. I mean, it will love the moon. Yes, and it will be so bright and beautiful at night. Okay, so that's why... When you go outside, if there is a bright moon, it's beautiful to see, right? Yes. 
Okay, so that's because of this story. Okay, so once again, this is just a story. We didn't know what's the reality if why there is a moon, sun, and wind. Okay, so let's look at the pictures and use the text describe or to describe the characters. Okay. The moon kind. The moon is kind. Okay, so we have, we'll put here. This kind. Okay. Okay, while the wind is the wind is selfish. Selfish. And what's what's the wind? Is it the wind is look, it says here unpleasant. Okay. Yes, unpleasant. Is unpleasant. Okay, the sun is, so we have here, the sun is gold and beautiful with yellow hair. She is greedy and selfish. People don't like the sun because she is hot. Okay, now let's go through the wind. Okay, so look at the wind. Where is the wind picture? Okay, there. Okay, so this is the wind. Mm -hmm. What can you tell about the wind? The wind is the wind is uh, I don't know how to say it. Okay, what are you trying to describe? Is it the dress, the hair? The, dress, the hair is curly, the dress is uh, gray. Okay. So or we can also say that, okay, please wait, maybe I'll write it here. So you said the wind is gray mm -hmm. and is it beautiful to see? Okay, maybe, um, Jolly, right? Jolly because um, of how the wind moves. Okay. So jolly. Okay. With gray hair. Right? Okay. Okay. Now describe the wind. The wind is? Jolly. She is? Is she kind? Is she friendly? Or is she greedy? She is greedy. Okay. Greedy. Or mom told her that she's also mm, thoughtless. Okay. Thoughtless. Greedy and yes. Thoughtless. What do you mean by thoughtless? Do you know what's that? Okay, when you say thoughtless from the word itself, thought, it means to say that you didn't think about it, okay? Like you didn't care about it. I don't think about it. So that's thoughtless, okay? So she is greedy and thoughtless. So people don't like the wind. Why? Because she's greedy and thoughtless. Okay. And also because it has a strong um hot weather people don't like the wind because it's hot because yes because or maybe we can say because it's unpleasant and has yes and has hot weather okay Okay. All right. okay, so this is now for the wind. Okay, so let me just chat you with this. Okay, so can you please read? Okay. Uh, the wind is gray and jelly with gray hair. She is really in contrast. People 
don't like the wind because it's unpleasant and has hot weather. Okay, now let's go to the moon. Okay, what about the moon? The moon is cloudy. Okay, let's go to the picture first. Let's describe the picture. Where is the moon? Okay, here. Look at the moon. Okay, what can you tell about the moon? I can tell that the moon is having a white dress. White dress, okay. So and the blonde hair. Blonde hair. So the moon is. Um, or the moon is white, right? Or bright? Yes. Bright white and white. And white, yes. Okay. And has blonde hair. Yes. Now describe her. Is she kind? Is she, I mean, selfish? Just like her sister. No, she's kind. She's kind and thoughtful, okay? Yes. Thoughtful. Thoughtful. Yes. So the opposite of thoughtful is thoughtless, okay? Yes. okay. All right. So now, people like or don't like? People like the moon. Why? Because it's cool. Because right. it's it, the, the dark. Yeah, because it's beautiful. Yes, because it's beautiful. And it brights. Okay, in yes. the dark. Okay, that's just what you have said. Okay, so I have to sign it with you. Please read. The moon is bright and white and has blonde hair. She is kind and thoughtful. People like the moon because it's beautiful and bright in the dark. Yes, okay. So now let's go to word study. Okay, so we have highlighted words right in the story. You have to match the words in blue in the text with the meanings, okay? So let's try to find out what are the words in the story. So, okay, first word is the word supper. Okay, what are other words? Please tell me. Supper, what else? Supper, yeah. Pleasant. Pleasant. Okay. What else here? Gown. Gown. Oh. Yeah, gown. Oh. Okay. What else? Slender. Slender. And there's one more. Unpleasant. Unpleasant. Okay. So we have to tell the correct meaning of these words according to okay the word study okay so what is supper here you have to tell me you choose to answer okay supper means okay, is it you choose the answer is here in the text Yes. Supper. Yeah, what do you mean by supper in your own words? Oh, it's health. Okay. Again? Health. Mm hmm Is it in the uh, choices? I think. Okay. So, yes, you can choose... Either one, two, three, four, or five. 
two? Yes, three. Oh, three. Sorry, you said three. Okay. You said dinner. Okay, supper is a dinner. That's correct. So you can use dinner or supper when you use it in a sentence. So for example, I ate um, vegetables last supper. Okay, so that's for dinner. Miss dinner. Next one is pleasant. What do you mean by pleasant? Pleasant is, is nice. Nice, correct. Okay, very good. Another one is a gown. What's a gown? A gown A dress. Correct. Okay, it's a dress. Okay, another one which do we have a slender. Okay, what's slender? Thin. Oh, is thin. Thin. Um, okay, correct. Thin. Yes, okay, so like you have a slender cloth. Yes, so a thin cloth. Okay, that's what it means. And lastly, the word unpleasant. What's unpleasant? Not nice. Not nice, okay. So now we have unlocked the words, okay? So do you understand what are these words now? No questions? Yes, no questions. Okay, now let's try to have a drill. Okay, what do you mean by the word thin? What's thin? Thin is small. Donna. Hmm? Thin is small. Oh, it's slender. We have the word slender. Yes. Okay, what about dinner? Dinner is uh, supper. Okay, what about not nice? Is unpleasant. A dress? A gown. Gown? Nice? Pleasant. Very good. Okay, so it seems that you already know the words, okay, and the meaning of it. Okay, so all right now okay we have here values okay so i'm thinking that we are going to discuss this one in our next class it's, it has lots of um explanation to do and opinion of yours okay so yes anyways um what is the lesson in the story in your own opinion Oh, I'm trying to the sun and the moon. Mm -hmm. Yes. So what do you do in your real life? You have to be kind. Yes. Yes. Not just with your uh, family, but also the people around you. Okay. So that's okay. the lesson of the story. Okay. Anyways, I guess we're running out of time. So we'll just continue this in our next class. Okay. Okay, so thank you and see you again. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.